very large tree fell on me and paralysed me from the chest down. The reason why I started making guitars was a stupid idea I had one day. It's definitely not the best way to make a living or an income. This is workshop number four. Started in a shed, went to another shed, um, single car garage, double car garage. Uh, this shed used to be uh, what they call the cat shed for the Devonport show that they have here every year. So uh, there's no cats left here anymore. <laughs> Just cool cats. My family through my nephew Chris done a beautiful thing. They knew that I'd just finished recording an album of my original songs and they wanted to show me that I still had my music. I could still play the guitar and that my life wasn't finished. It's not time Built up some blackwood timber a few years ago. Um, milled it specifically for instruments after talking to Billy. And it sat there in the shed for a couple of years and after uh, we heard about Uncle Oz's accident we knew it would be very, very tough on the man and took some timber over to Billy and started the collaboration on, on making the masterpiece. Good journey. It gives a bit more purpose to what I'm doing. The owner is a beautiful player the Anzac Day Parade, so we did a bugle inlay on the headstock. We put his surname on the headstock, which is something I've never really done. It's always my name on the headstock, but it was such a, a special build, and it was using all the, the local blackwood that the nephew had harvested a couple of years ago. Oh, stop it, <laughs> Another guitar I built a couple of years ago said his father had passed away. His father was the one that taught him to play guitar, and we actually um, put some of his dad's ashes inside the neck of the guitar so he could sit there and play guitar with his father still. I never really thought that making guitars would become such a personal thing, but uh, it certainly makes it a very satisfying way to make a living and um, if happy, die poor. Oh, it was a moment. It wasn't a dry eye in the room when we gave the guitar over. The whole family was, has been collaborating on the whole thing. Yeah, it was very special. It was a labour of love. The most beautiful thing I've ever been given. The tree didn't take my music from me. Also makes me very proud of my family.